<clears throat> hey, every pony, it's me, Paranorman. And as promised in my Animal Jam video, which I haven't released yet, but I will when this video comes out to, I'm playing the real Doki Doki Lurch Club. If you haven't seen my Gacha Life version of the real game, which literally uses a stabilized instrument, I highly recommend you go check it out. Or just watch this playthrough, or even play the game yourself. It's on free, it's on Steam, and I'm playing it just exactly that way. So, yeah. As you can see, it says, This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. Okay, more concepts, Pooja, okay. By playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you are at least 13 years of age. You consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Well, I am pretty brave. Even though I'm 11, I'm, I'm just three years away from being third. And just like the year before next, I'm going to be 13. But anyways, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. No one tells me what to do. Team Zavato. Boy, this game's not okay. Dokey dokey brain. I love this song. Okay, new game, low game settings, have quick. Okay. So, okay, so we need a name. So I can't use my real name because, first of all, personal reasons. And second of all, I'm a girl, not a boy. So I'll have a hard, hard time making a boy voice. But I'll have no problem voicing the girls. So we need a name. Oh, got it, got it. Da, 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 da. So, we're going to go with Jareed, which is also the name of a head projectile from Cuphead. And it's also the name of the character in my Gotcha Life version of the game. So, let's. Here we go! Hey! <clears throat> I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air, arms in the air, like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw her to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. Yeah, you know, that kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Sorry guys, that was my dad. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would always sleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But, she's going to chase after me like this, and we'll feel better off when we live. However, I just let us sigh. <sighs> I don't run out of the clock and let Sayori catch up. Here, here she comes. <sighs> I overslept again. See? I'm a girl, so I'll have a, a perfect time. But I caught you this time. Maybe. Probably because I decided to stop her with me. Ah, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Jury. Well... People stare at you for acting weird, but I don't want them to keep for a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. Okay, so we're now we're heading to school. As we draw near. Streets become increasingly speckled with other streets, making your daily commute. By the way, Jareed, have we decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Or either. <laughs> That's not 
Shroud? You told me you joined the club this year! Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissed the girl whatever she's going on about. Hold on, I got ice cream right now. Furball, it's not for you, it's for me. So he likes to worry a little too much about me. And I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. For those of you who don't know, anime is the graphical Japanese cartoon. Some of them have made their way to America. And onto Netflix, like Pokemon or Sonic X. My personal favorite, by the way. Uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you coming in. Coming in. Neat. And if you're here, it's because you're not used to the real world. Trust me, right? Keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. Look at a few clubs and that means you But no promises though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! What do I let myself get lectured by such a careful girl? What is that? Guessing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind. At least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside her head. So this is the cool scene transition to to this scene and then the classroom. There we go. The school days is ordinary as ever. And it's before before I know. Okay. I'm gonna have a lot of viewers when I upload this. What the heck? But when I'm recording, stop. After I pack up my things and stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Say where he wants to check. Wants me to check out some clubs. I have no choice but to start with the anime club. I get it, cause the main character likes anime. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. School do we have anime clubs? Leave a comment below and let me know if your school has an anime club. In it. I'm really intrigued. Also, what do you do in anime clubs? Also, too. hello. Yuri must have come into the classroom while I was facing out. I looked around. I look around and realized that I'm the only one left in the classroom. Well, besides Yuri, of course. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here facing out. So I came in. Hmm. 
Honestly, you... Honestly, you're the worst thing sometimes. I'm impressed. Ooh, roasted! <laughs> you don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you wait to your own. Her boss is Well, I thought you need, you need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, oh, she's blushing. Know what? Know what? Well, then you can come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Yeah? Maybe. Sayori's vice president of literature. Glitter. Literature club. I always have trouble pronouncing that word. What the heck? But anyways, she's vice president of the literature club. <laughs> Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. So she was the first one to show interest after the flood who proposed the club. She inherited the title of vice president. Said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday to bring in a new member, and that Suki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep! You can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead. Oh, that's mean. That is real mean. Or if she's so cunning as to have a plan all this out. Let alone. <sighs> Fine. I'll buy it for a cupcake, okay? Yes! Let's go! Woo! Ooh, she's really happy right now. And thus, today's Mercy Day, I sold myself for a cupcake. Isn't that a little too dark? Advertise a friendly concept, please. I dejectedly followed Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. <coughs> what does third year mean? Would you like your third year that being at school? I don't know. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member! Huh? I glance around the room. Oh! I remember her. <clears throat> Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Oh, oh my god, look at this. Seriously? <laughs> you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. And now this my new one. Uh, Jareed, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All words escape from the situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls! What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it! Sorry. That's Suki. <laughs> the girl with the sore atti sour attitude, <laughs> whose name is apparently not Suki, is the one I didn't recognize. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into her ear and turns back toward the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say anything like that. Yuri, who appears comparatively more mature and timid, seems to be a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. 
So, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Jerry. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we really talk. We were in the same class last year. So that explains why she Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Yeah, I'm smart, I'm beautiful. Well, I'm technically not athletic, but I do walk from time to time with my dog and my mom. Buy 3DS in, in my pocket, in her pocket, in my mom's pocket, and my phone in hand, my headphones on, basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me is so genuine, you little, you too, Monica. Come sit down, Jerry. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I'm me. No, I'll get up. <coughs> Sorry, I got a little too excited. How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and another space next to her. Let me see. And by her, I mean Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walked over to the corner of the room, <laughs> where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Hold on, guys. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, it's just, again, like I said in my Animal Jam video, it's the stupid weather! <coughs> Of every, each of every one of us. 
were setting down teapot next to the cupcake tray. Excuse me, teapot. The teapot. Oh, tea is set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers give us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. It, th th that's not... It's simply insulted. Yuri looks away. Yeah. People under, never understand us girls. They think that every single... We think us girls think that every single thing a boy says offends us. Oh, that is so sweet. That is so cute. Actually. Well, well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Oh, that is that is a, that is actually really adorable. Yuri Fleetly smiles to herself. That is adorable. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So, what made you consider literature? <laughs> um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me you shouldn't tell Monica I was practically dragged to your facility. Well, I haven't joined, joined any clubs yet, and they already seem really happy here, so <clears throat> it's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it is my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I almost feel like putting an American flag meme in there, but I think not. Because first of all, political issues or something like that. Second of all, it'll be pretty hard to overlay the flag in Femora 9. I ate it with Femora 9, by the way. So that's my excuse for that stupid bar move. You guys, please know how to get rid of that. Leave a comment below and let me know if you know a way to get rid of that. It and let me sh and make sure it's a way that it does not involve buying stuff. <sighs> Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Were you a leader of debate club last year? You know, be honest, I can't steal all the politics around major clubs. <laughs> or politics. <laughs> I can't even pronounce all this stuff for you. <laughs> it feels like nothing but arguing about the budget in public. rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special about it. Well said, Monica. Well said. And if it encourages others to live, get them into literature, life a fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods and green. Then I'm surprised that there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. <laughs> the way the way that I said it though. <laughs> what the heck? Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention. Like literature, for example. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events, like the festival. Oh, this is foreshadowing. A, that they're supposed to bring new members by the day she starts the week. Uh, I mean, let's just say, I don't know. There's a big sort of that much more important. <laughs> I'm confident. I'm 
confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Oh, great. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Oh, that's weird. It's actually kind of weird. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. What question I have? Why is Monica like a Yuri Boobs really big? Like, nothing to offend girls, but still. No offense to other girls if you're watching this, but still. Maybe that's why they were also delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm, enthusiasm about literature. So, Jareed, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a way of answering that. Manga? I muttered quietly to myself, half joking. Oh! Fun fact, Natsuki likes manga too. Suki's head something works up. It looks like she wanted to say something, but Suki's quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Wait, did I just say it with the wrong... Did I just say not much of a reader, I guess, with the wrong voice? <laughs> I think so. For So, oops, my bad. Forgive me for that. Anyway, what about you? Imagine if that was visually represented. I don't think that would be aesthetically pleasing either. My favorites are usually novels like deep and complex fantasy worlds. Ooh! The level of creativity and craftsmanship of the is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign way world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly pretty passionate about her reading. She seems to be so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of both books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliver to completely throw you for a loop. <laughs> anyway, I've been reading a lot about horror lately. Oh, gee. Uh, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I could relate to at the minimal level. This right, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with the rock. <laughs> good one. That is actually a good one. I hate horror. I know, right? The word horror means, literally means scary. And I don't like scary stuff. Not even, I mean, I'm most times completely ready for jump scares, but sometimes it's so loud and so unexpected that I just like flail my arms. I wish I could visually represent this, but I can't. Just let Suki's eyes dark open for a split second. Just like that. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind 
last club meeting. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud and Give That Back. I'm fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. She always fights up. Hi, Natsuki, and push your hands on her shoulders. <laughs> dropping coins because they follow my little cherry wall. Yeah, my wallet is like black, white, and other colors like that. Checkering with with hot pink cherries. I wish I could take a picture of it, but I can't right now. <laughs> Maybe if you still share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Nothing. <laughs> I think she's a little embarrassed. Guess it's the same for Yuri. Huh. Aw. I really think you want to read everyone's poems. Uh, you know, see, Yuri is really sweet. I got them. We all sit in silence for a Okay! I have an idea, everyone! Not a Yuri. <laughs> he literally called him that. <laughs> an A T. Club. 
One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Monica looks happy and sad at the same time. Siri? But all the rest of the girls look pretty surprised. Spending every day after school in the literature club? In a literature club, by the way. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Oh, right! I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will come. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight.
Rachel. Do it. Oh, come on! Mikey deserves a new slack. Siri told me you didn't even want to join any, any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. That's so cute! Suki, you certainly have a big mouth of someone who keeps her main manga collection in the club room. <coughs> Asuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly disappeared. Asuki plops back into her seat. Ooh. Jeez, that's how a sore attitude when we just say that. Don't worry, guys. Jareed always gives his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy. It's distracting. And you almost set your house on so fire while all if that were visually represented, like, that would actually kind of scare me. Let me look at her, she's so cute! If you look at her, she's so cute! Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? Actually? Yes! I might be a little jealous. Oh, poor Yuri. How come? You and Yuri, you can become good friends too! Uh, um... Sayori... Hmm? As usual, Seo, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Bro! What? Oh, oh! Yuri even brought you something today, you know. Wait! Sayori! Me? Shy. It's really nothing. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal. Like uh, what do I do? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So, any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I would make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. We didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's just a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is, how's this girl accidentally being so cute? I know, right? Right? She even picked out a book that she thinks I'll like despite me not being so much. Right? This, I enthusiastically take the book. Phew! Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. That doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having just a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in the book. <laughs> Imagine if that was a spread in the game, too. I'm just talking about... Oh, oh, lots of initial sprites that could have been used in the final game, like Yuri digging her face in a book, or Sayori actually putting her shoulders on Natsuki. That would be... Those two would actually be really hilarious. That would be really hilarious. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, I like 
Suki is rummaging about around the closet. Suki, what's wrong? Man, looks like no one wants to bother today. Slump down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the, some of the book yours you gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and up listen in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably going to see he's really lame I mean, compared to all the other clubs though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festivals are only chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is the I that the idea of literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not all like that, that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Sometimes that speaks to their creative minds. Mm, that doesn't solve a problem, though. What do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah, when you're not ahead yet. You wanna say no? What do you mean? I'm sorry, I just, I just got a little sidetracked there. Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing that, to speak to their creative mind. What's this? Serious? He's taking this really seriously. It's rare to her to see her deliberating like this. Hmm, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will be the trick? What kind? Uh, well, I guess we could... Cupcake! <laughs> good thinking. I think he would love to do that. Uh, you're right! see the wolf through her eyes. What? Oh! I know! That's just right up to the... She's... Her face is right up to the screen, guys! Look, I actually don't want to I nearly fall on my chair. <laughs> Sorry. She literally just like... Whoop! Got back to her original position. Like, that's actually pretty funny. Give me the benefit of the doubt. 
can't even do that. <laughs> Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. Sayori glances around. <laughs> Sayori, I didn't mean it literal. Girl. Boy. I didn't mean it literally. How's it written all over me? We're clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Uh, I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to shake it out. Man, you need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. <laughs> Man, I am really stubborn in this, guys. There's more than that. Just your hair. Look, your brow isn't straight either. Your bow. Excuse me, bow. And there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right here. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Frankly, I really don't care about that. Hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? <laughs> That's super mean! Sorry, but you'll think we are- Oh! Roasted! Boy! Boy, oh, but I'll get- but, Dude, I just wrote- I- Guys, I just roasted her. That is me. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, it'll change your blazer. Oh, that is... Okay, that is a weird angle. Okay, you can clearly see that she's looking at me on the screen. Yeah, but... Okay, I have to go before this video gets too long. So, thanks for watching, and I'll just have to save it right here. This is my very first save the game, guys! Return, and I'll see you later. Bye!